test. Good afternoon. For some time now, we have been flying regular and routine reconnaissance flights with unarmed planes in Lebanon as a part of the protection and defense of our forces there. We notified the Syrians of this some time ago, assuring them that the planes were unarmed, that this was purely for reconnaissance. There have been some instances of firing at those planes now and then from unknown sources. But early yesterday, two such reconnaissance missions were fired upon by literally hundreds of anti-aircraft and a combination of surface-to-air missiles which were coordinated from several sites by the Syrians. Early today, we responded to this unprovoked attack by striking back at those sites from whence had come the attack. We don't seek hostilities there. Our mission remains what it was to help stabilize the situation at Beirut until all the foreign forces can be withdrawn and until the government of Lebanon can take over the authority of its own territory. But we are going to defend our forces there. And this was the reason or the purpose of the mission earlier today. Uh, yes, we, we've had this report that uh, two, of, two of the pilots or the crew of one plane, two planes were shot down of ours. The pilot, as you know, was rescued that landed uh, outside of that area, two inside I don't have any further word except that we are uh, attempting to negotiate their release. There have been rumors or reports of some kind or the loss of one. Uh, we have no substantiation of that. Is there a danger of... Uh, I am going to find all that out because we're just... Uh, our embassy has been notified and they're, uh, they're making contact. Is there a danger of escalating the war, sir? Wait a minute. Do you fear a military confrontation with Syria at this point? Do we fear a military confrontation with Syria? Well, I think that's the wrong word. I think the question is wrong. We don't want such a thing. We don't desire it. But, and I think this will answer your question over here at the same time about uh, if it happens again, will we fire back? We haven't fired at anyone unless it has been to return fire against attacks made upon our forces. Yes, if our forces are attacked, we will respond. We're going to defend our personnel that is there. Coordinated with the Israelis, Mr. President? What's that? It's coordinated with the Israelis, sir? No, I've heard some rumors to that effect, and I suppose the, the uh, situation of the President Jamal and Prime Minister Shamir both being here 
And the fact that they have responded with fire to some areas uh, led people to suppose that no, we knew nothing of their operations and there was no contact with them regarding ours. And, and the uh, uh, Prime Minister has uh, responded to that question and said that they were only aware of it after it happened. Well, that your guess is as good as mine. We we don't know the conflicting stories that are coming out of there. The attempt now to uh, uh, portray him as being active and on the scene. Uh, we really have no assurance one way or the other. I wouldn't know. All I know is that this was coordinated by the Syrians. What? Well, I hope that it doesn't make it any more difficult. I hope that the reaction would be the other, the other way. But we're going to continue with the mission that we embarked upon some time ago, and that is to bring peace to that area. So now, that's about all. Thank you.